Hello graduates, Sanjeev Bhaskar here, Chancellor of the University of Sussex, coming to you from my Harry Potter cupboard. Now the graduation ceremonies are the highlight of every academic year, the days that you, the graduates, your lecturers and the entire university look forward to and work towards. So it feels unfair and just not right that we've been robbed of that pleasure once again. Of course this doesn't in any way lessen your extraordinary achievements. In many ways, I think it makes your achievements all the more extraordinary to have done what you have in the most challenging of circumstances is something that I am quite frankly in awe of. When you began your Sussex journey, no one could have foreseen that you, us, the world would have been dealing with a global event that would shape and impact literally all of us. We've all had to adapt and adapting to circumstances and the unexpected is, I think, what life is. As the great John Lennon of Beatles fame said, life is what happens to you when you're busy making other plans. He also said, love is all you need. Imagine all the people sharing all the world. But he also said, I'm the walrus, so yeah, maybe just go with the first ones. Although you may have missed particularly the social aspects of university life, you may have, as I did, across the various lockdowns through this forced introspection, discovered a lot more about yourself, how you cope with the unexpected, how resilient you may be, how much you need to be with people, how much your compassion and patience have been tested, just knowing about the raw materials that make up who you are. Maybe you've realised that you're far more resilient than you thought, that the difference between your needs and your wants is clearer than ever before, that your priorities have changed. I mean, all this is good stuff. I mean, things many people like me learned over a decade, you may have fast-tracked into just a couple of years. No experience goes wasted. It's all filed away to hopefully help you in some unexpected way in the future. For me, this period has been even further highlighting the importance of keeping tabs on not just our mental health, but the mental health of those around us. The importance of talking, of listening, of having empathy. I've tried to keep a sense of compassion, kindness and humour at the forefront of all my thoughts, particularly with those that have a different attitude and approach to mine. I discovered something that makes me feel a sense of balance is being in a default state of gratitude. Not about everything, but about something every day. I also gave myself two outcomes. Succeed or learn. No room for negative terms like failure. Again, it's not always easy, but I feel that if I keep expressing positivity and empathy for long enough, it will just become habit. I believe that always what you do next is who you are. You are always your next decision. Making mistakes is normal part of being a human being. Sometimes the solution is there, waiting, hiding behind your next mistake. Just make sure that every mistake you make is a new one. So I hope your steps forward are positive, optimistic, filled with love and compassion, and with every step you either succeed or learn, or both. You will always be part of Sussex, and I hope that Sussex will be a part of you. Do remain connected to us as alumni, you know that you'll always be welcome. As the great author Ernest Hemingway said, before you act, listen. Before you react, think. Before you spend, earn. Before you criticise, wait. Before you pray, forgive. Before you quit, try. I wish you all happiness in the next part of your incredible journey. And when we next meet, the hugs are on me.